you know, for, for the government members, the Liberal Party members, to uh, refuse um, this committee, the documentation that we need to do our jobs, I think, is just totally unacceptable. Is this, I mean, I know the Permacare is one issue, but is this precedent setting, you know, maybe for a time when the Liberals aren't in power and don't have control of this committee to, to actually enforce the rules here? Yeah, I, I don't know about um, the, you know, what this means in terms of a longer term precedent, but you know, we have a majority government. They're using their majority to crush the, the role of the opposition to bring forward information um, that is properly in the public domain. You know, how the decisions were arrived at in terms of the Pharmacare program are still not all understood. The information we got was incomplete, but moreover, it wasn't what we were promised. You know, I'm not making this up. The deputy minister made a promise to provide the modeling. What we got was not the modeling. That's all I'm looking for, is the committee had a commitment by a witness. You know, those witnesses come, they're under oath. We don't give them the oath, but they are under oath when they're here. A commitment was made, it wasn't abided by. What do you mean, though, that you didn't get the modeling? What, what more could you get? Well, we could get a lot more. The information we got didn't tell us one thing about guaranteed income supplement, now did it? 14,000 seniors getting the guaranteed income supplement aren't even in the information we got. Do you think they don't have that information? That modeling exists. They have information that tells you of the impact on the various income groups of seniors within the department. That exists. But how, that's not really modeling information, that's, that's no, other it's, information, modeling right? is a Modeling is kind of um, um, an economics term, mm -hmm. you know? It's economic modeling. So and they you want to see the impact on I want to see the, all of the demographic impacts. That's what we were talking about last week with the deputy minister. And that's what he committed to. And the Liberal government members don't want that information out in the public domain. Why is that? What are they trying to hide? What is it they think the seniors and the public shouldn't know? Is there any avenue to get that information outside of like FOIP pop right now? Or? Well, you know, the, the freedom of information process is a process that we actually have initiated. But as you know, that takes a very long time. And uh, a government can slow that process down. So, you know, this is a committee that the Legislative Council today have indicated have the power to subpoena documents. We have great power. But the will of the members of the committee have to be to use those powers. What the Liberal government members have done is they've shut down the Public Accounts Committee's power to get documents on the Seniors Pharmacare Plan and on anything else that we will want to do, you know? But that's their right as a majority government. That's not a new thing. This is not a new tactic. This well, is you what know every what? majority government has ever done. If they don't want something out, they No, don't. that's not actually accurate. You know, the uh, even a majority government can make the choice and has make and made the choice in the past to provide information to the public because they know there's a political price to pay for hiding information that's pro it's going to come out eventually so they might as well let it come out now but they don't have the political acumen to understand that this kind of tactic and behavior is unacceptable to people. People look at this and they say, this is unacceptable. This isn't how government is supposed to work. We didn't send one party to the Nova Scotia legislature. We sent three. They all have jobs to do. You don't shut down the opposition parties doing their jobs on behalf of the people of the province. It's not complicated. Thanks for it.